Hello, this is Mike from Mike the Master 125 and I'm going to be doing another house tutorial on this house right here. This house has four levels and uh, it's pretty spacious. It's made with uh, five by five chunks. As you can see, um, for example, when we go to here you see one, two, three, four, five and the whole house is done in this pattern. So here's a quick look around. Um, I made the mistake of making this house in a, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's, yeah, it's the Tunneler's Dream World. I like them because they have the trees and uh, it gives it a good look, but apparently it reaches the maximum build height right here. So let me get my coordinates up. You can see I'm at Y255 and I can't build any higher than that. So. Yeah, but you can see what that would normally look like. Like you would uh, have one more row of stairs and a half slab on that. Now uh, let's take a tour through the house and then I'll tell you a little about it. And then I'll show you how to build it. And this will be a pretty long video because it is a big house. And it takes a while to make. So let's go to the right. You got these two areas here. You got this big area. There's your stairway. You can have an entrance to your basement down here. Um, you have another area here. That's the first floor. You go up to the second floor. And um, you have a room here. And all these are, like I said before, 5x5 five five chunks. You got a room here. And it also takes you out to this deck. So uh, this room would be ideal for a bedroom. And when we go up to the third floor, it's just a single room really and then uh, you got the the two attic spaces underneath the roof here here's one this one's pretty spacious and then you have another here so you got plenty of room for storage and we go up to the fourth floor which is kinda like the lookout tower uh, this is all it is pretty simple so uh, yeah now uh, about this house I want to make it clear I did not make this house. Um, this house was actually an image. Like no one's ever done a tutorial on this house. It's a, uh, it's just kind of a picture, and I will go show you guys the picture real quick and uh, explain some more stuff about it. And this is what, well, I kind of pieced together the house by looking at the picture. I don't know if it's 100% accurate, but I tried to keep it as accurate as possible. So let's take a look at the picture. Alright, so here we are at the page where I found the house. It's on DeviantArt. Uh, the creator is Kellyan Dragonmaster. And uh, yeah, you can see he made this, he or she made this, and just put a picture of it up. So based on looking at it I can tell it's all 5x5 five five chunks so that's how I was able to recreate it so uh, I'll put a link to this page in the description and uh, then we'll get to building the actual house and I will have a few changes that I'm going to make myself to it but uh, it will be mostly the same so let's get to it Alright, I'm back and I generated a standard super flat world. So uh, let's start building this. Before we start, I'm going to change my texture pack real quick. Get something that looks a little nicer. It's better. Alright, and you will need the items that I have in my hotbar right now. Um, the reason why I have this dirt in here. Um, well, you can use any item you want for this, any block you want, because it will not be seen. So, uh, further ado, let's get started. Um, you're going to get your wood logs. I like to do oak wood. And you're going to pillar up three, and then count one, two, three, four, five. Then on the sixth one, place another one. So there should be five blocks in between them. So fill that with bricks. 
and we're going to be using this pattern a lot so leave three spaces here for a window so you should have this three spaces for a window and then you can go ahead and put your glass there now or later and uh, that's what we got so let's go ahead and continue this pattern down here one two three four five and then put an oak wood or any kind of wood you want it's the same thing as we just did and uh, I'm not going to keep counting this for you guys because you guys should know already what the pattern is so now that we have this shape we're going to do one we're, this is the front we're facing the front so now we're going to do one over here this one is going to be a little different because this will be where the front door is so I'm going to go ahead and do five and do this now we need to decide which one we want our door to be I'm going to have this one where the door is and uh, I'm doing this different than the original in the original they put the door in the center and use glass blocks on each side and uh, we have glass panes now and uh, I figure it's better to do this I think it looks better so I'm going to be doing that cap it off with wood logs and uh, let's go this is what you should have so far so let's recreate this over here three glass panes and cap it with wood logs so we're gonna recreate this now over here I actually did build this house in a in a survival server. Um, hold on. So yeah, you're gonna recreate this over here on each side. But anyways, uh, yeah, I did end up building this house in a friend's survival server, and uh, I think the most uh, resource-consuming part of it, if you were to make this in survival, even though it is a great survival house. It's got plenty of space for stuff, but uh, I think the biggest thing that took up resources was making the roof, making all those stairs, because the roof does require a lot of stairs. And I just remember cutting down tree after tree after tree and still not having enough. And I had to get so many trees, I cleared out like half of entire forest just to get enough wood. Although I made the whole thing out of wood, but... Here's what you should have. Here's what you should have so far. So uh, let's add another one of these things over here, and do that to each side. But yeah, after I uh, I got that house all made, I I made a cool basement for it. It was by a beach, so I on my basement I made like a little window looking into the ocean and everything. It was really cool. I made some cool piston doors for it uh, in the basement as well, and uh, it was pretty fun. And then uh, one of my friends on the server thought it would be funny to go get a bunch of TNT and plant it in my house. And uh, oh yeah, this is where you're gonna end. So you got this and then you're gonna just go all the way across here like that so you have a distance of five in between them but anyways yeah my friend thought it would be funny to get some TNT and plant it all around my house and then put like a pressure plate by my door but the thing is he accidentally hit the pressure plate after he set it up so he's the one who blew up this big house I made in survival mode and uh yeah, I was pretty pissed off at him. Yep. It was a sweet house, though. It took a long time to build, but... I haven't made it ever since, actually, just in creative mode. Because it took such a long time. So this is what you should have. You should be able to see what I got going on here. Pretty simple. 
So let's work on the second story. You're going to get your wood logs. And, uh, you know, I like to make them go across like this because that's how it was in old school Minecraft. But I guess since you can place logs sideways now, and it, I guess it does kind of look better, I'll go ahead and do that. But, uh, yeah, if I were to make this house my survival world, I'd definitely do it like this. Because that's how it used to be done, but we'll go ahead and do that. So you're going to line the whole thing with wood logs. Or whatever material you want. I mean, you could make this whole thing out of bricks. and You can make it out of all kinds of different materials. I'm just doing mine out of wood. and I know it's bricks at the bottom. I'm using stone bricks, but on the second floor I'm going to be using wooden planks. I think it gives it a nice contrast. Oh, and remember, when you get one that goes up like this, make sure the log faces upwards. And I'm going to be trying to go trying to go as fast as I can because this is a big house to make and I don't want to make a super long video on how to do it. I want it to be as quick as I can get it. So we're almost done with that. So here we go. This is what you should have now. Let's get our wooden planks and uh, we'll use that for the material of our second floor. And we're just going to line the whole thing in wooden planks. Yes, it is going to take a lot of wooden planks. It's very resource consuming, I guess you could say. <laughs> All right, we're getting close to being done. And it is getting close to being night. That just made it darker. Hold on. Time set 6,000 maybe? Yeah, there we go. So I'm almost done with the second floor. Well, just the floor for it. So here we go. You should have everything covered in wood wood planks or whatever material. Um, I'm using all oak wood stuff for this, oak wood logs and oak wood planks. So let's get started on the second floor. On the left part, you're going to pillar up three with uh, wood logs, like so. And do it on each part that you see where it's facing up. Ooh, got a little leg there. Now, let's see, let's get these two in the middle. But when we get to the right side, there's going to be a deck here, so don't put any here. Don't put any there. Leave that blank, because there's going to be a little deck there. I mean, you can if you want to, but I'll explain to you why it's a good idea not to, because symmetry is good in a house, but I'll show you why it's best to do it the other way. So let's just line everything with oak wood planks for now. Or you could do brick all the way up like the original house was. Like the one person made it. I can't remember their name. <clears throat> the guy or girl who posted it on DeviantArt. Yeah, they used uh, stone bricks all the way up. and I just want to use w uh, wood planks because it gives it a good contrast. So when we get to here, we're going to do the same uh, pattern we did for this only uh, I'm gonna have the door on this side so we'll have our door here and then we'll have the window right here looks nice and uh, before I make all the other walls just line this deck area with fence like that there we go. And uh, I'm just going to do the standard uh, three long window pattern for pretty much everything else. Let's 
So yeah, it, this shouldn't be too hard for you guys. It's pretty, pretty easy. Just the same thing for everyone. Whoops. Well, oh, did it again. And I'll put in glass panes after I finish all this. We're almost done. Alright, now I'm just going to line it all up with glass panes. It's the same thing throughout. This house is very uh, symmetrical, it has a lot of patterns to it, they're the same. Alright, so that's what you should have <clears throat> for the second floor. So uh, let me think. Uh, get your material. I'm going to be using dirt. I'd recommend using dirt or cobble or something if you're in survival because it's easy to get for this part and just line the top with it. Actually, not this part. Go to here. This is on the left side of the house. But uh, don't mess with this part. Let me show you. You're just going to skip around that like this. Don't even get this uh, wooden log. So you're just going to go around the rest of the house, all around the right side. Until you get to here. So if you look at the house from straight on, you see this part on the left, this 5x5 five five section on the left is uh, blank. That's because we're going to be adding more stuff there. So uh, let me think of how I won't gonna do this. Get your wood logs and make it go one block higher and uh, time set 6,000 and uh, just do that on all the corners so it's level with the dirt or whatever material you use and uh, go ahead and bring it around like this connect them. Um, I guess you can connect these two So you should have something that looks like this. So uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and give everything a roof here real quick. Uh, or not a roof, but a ceiling. Come on. Okay, just gotta get these two things over here. Almost done with this part. We still got a lot more to go. The roof is the most time consuming thing, I think. Alright, so now that we got the ceiling for our second story down, it'll look like this. So let's do our third story. Get your wood logs, pillar up three high, just on this one square section over on the upper left. Like that. And um, for the windows, this side facing the front will not have a window. Neither will this one over to the right. This one facing the right will not have a window either. Only the ones facing the outside will have windows. So like this one that's facing the back will have a window. Okay, this is the back. And this one facing the outside from the left will, ha will also have a window. Like so. 
So uh, let's see. That's our third story now for our fourth floor, which will be our last floor, which is kind of like the lookout tower, I guess. It's kind of cool. This the house. It's like it's like it has a built-in lookout tower. It's it's kind of cool. So yeah, get your logs and stack them up like that, and then connect them all, like we did before. This fourth floor is just going to be a clone of the third one, pretty much, but with windows on all four sides. So like this. So let's put the ceiling in on our third floor real quick. So, fourth floor. Do the same thing you did with the third floor. Pillar up three high with your wood logs. Three. Just like this. Same as before. And uh, fill everything with wooden planks, but you're going to have windows on all four sides this time. So, every wall on this floor has a window because it's like the lookout tower. window okay just one more all right so that's our fourth floor so you should have it looking like this see on the third one there's no windows there but when we go to the back there is, and you basically got this whole tower th looking thing sticking out of the, the rear left of your house. Where's the sun? That's better. Okay. Um, I guess the next step for us to do would be the roof. But for actually, before we do that. Get your dirt. Let's do the ceiling for this. Get your uh, dirt or whatever you're going to use. If you're in creative, I would recommend using diamond blocks for this because that'd be cool. So go ahead and put your material, line it on the top of your fourth floor. And let's go ahead and throw in a ceiling. <coughs> ceiling. That's what I meant to say. Just like that. Now for the roof. This is uh, time and resource consuming, but it's not that bad. I mean, I've seen lots worse, but let's go ahead and get started. There are uh, two versions you could do for this roof. I'm going to be doing the one that the original creator of this house did. And uh, yeah, when I'm doing this house, I've, I've never seen a video of it. I've literally only seen the picture, so I'm just making this off a picture, but yeah, you should be able to copy this just by looking at it. You can see what I did there. I just wrapped it around and then went one up each time. So on this one, I would go like this, go over here, wrap it around, and then for the second one, I'd start on these and just make them come back here have them come around like this I think you get what I'm doing roofing is a lot easier in Minecraft now that they made it I know that it's <clears throat> been like this for a while but I'm so glad that they made it so you can have corner stairs it makes roofing just a whole lot easier so uh, let's do our top roof And <clears throat> we will be using the same pattern like this. And then we will have one here. Okay, now for the stairs. I'm going to go ahead and start them on top of the dirt blocks. We'll make the overhang later. And yeah, just line it all up with stairs. Pretty 
easy to do. I'm sure if you've ever made a roof, then you should know how to do this. Oh, and uh, one more thing. We will be using wooden slabs because of the way this is. It has this one block here, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace my dirt with oak wood slabs. Like that. Okay, so let's do this part. Roof will knock over the deck. It can if you want, but uh, let me explain the look of the house real quick. I like this house because of the way it kind of comes up at the top and just kind of goes down over here. I, I think it makes it look cool. It's still symmetrical. You could totally do this over here too. <clears throat> so you could have two things sticking out, but I think it looks a lot better like this and it's nice to have a deck. But it's up to you. You can do a lot with this house. It's really great. You can do just a lot of modifications to it. You can change the way the roof works. I'll show you that in a minute here. Actually, I can show you that right now. You could just have the roof go all the way out like this and kind of have it come up like a standard roof. I think you know what I mean, where it goes all the way out. That would look cool. But I'm going to be using this one because this is how it was done in the original one. Alright, almost done. Just line this with wood slabs. Like that. And uh, let's do the top one. So uh, yeah, it's the same concept. Just line everything with stairs. wonder how long it's been. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. All right, put a slab on top of there. Let's do the overhang now. Just cover the dirt blocks that are revealed with stairs. Have an overhang like this. That's all there is to it. I have another uh, house tutorial video of my own creation. I'd like I'd, I like doing these house tutorial videos, and I plan on doing a lot more, but. I'd like to stick with my own creations if possible. I just wanted to do this one because it's just such a cool looking house and it's it's really a great house to have in your survival world. You have so much room and uh, it's 5x5 five five, so it's perfect dimensions for an enchantment room. And yeah, you can use these attics under these roofs for uh, storage and it's just a great survival house. So that's why I wanted to do it, and because I've made this house a few times before, so I figured why not. So we're done with the overhang, and uh, this is what we got. I think it looks pretty sweet. We got all the windows in, so you can... Now let's, uh, now let's do the interior. Before you do that, uh, I think they used uh, a cobblestone wall. For this part, actually, they used a cobblestone wall like this, and they had some flowers and whatnot, and a path going through the center. You can do what you want with that. I'm going to use um, I'm going to use wooden fence and a gate. Gates are great to have on your house because, uh, well, it's uh, zombies can't bang them. I don't, I don't think zombies can knock on them or break them down or anything. I know villagers can't go through them, so if you live close to a village, villagers won't come in your house. And yeah, it just it keeps mobs away. Gates are really a good thing to have. Let me think of how I want to do this. Huh. Well, I guess I could put the gate over here. gate right here that'll work 
All right, let's go inside. And uh, I'm not going to do that just because it's so simple and you guys should be able to do it. You can make this floor out of any material you want. I used wood planks when I did it. And I showed you earlier. So uh, let's make the stairs. I actually totally forgot something. Hold on. I'm going to need more brick. Oh, I forgot. You don't need these two windows. So when you go in your house through the front door, turn left and go to this corner. Uh, get rid of these windows because we're going to have stairs there. So yeah, no windows there. Should have done that at the beginning, uh, but whatever. Clear out uh, two blocks from this log all the way to there. Like that, and then when you're going towards it, turn left and take out these two blocks. So you should have something shaped like this. Give you some light. See what I'm doing. Okay. So, interior stairs. Um, get your wooden planks or whatever you're going to use for your stairs and put them like this. Don't have them touching the log up here. Start at the top of the brick wall and do that and have them descend like this. So now when you put your stairs in, they should not reach this log. They should be right before it. So just keep putting stairs up till you get to here. Leave this 2x2 two two area blank and uh, put two stairs here like that. So you go up it and turn left and there's one more. And then just have a fence running across here and do that. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You got your stairs. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you make the house. I mean, there's so much. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I forgot. We need an entrance to this. Oh, that would have been bad if I forgot that. So uh, what I like to do is I use a ladder. You could have a spiral staircase going up this whole thing, but I kind of like doing it this way. So uh, I'll show you how I do it. I get a ladder. We're also going to need a door for our storage room. Attic entrance. But anyways, yeah, get a ladder and make that wall there. Put a door here, one block from the wood log like that and uh, just throw a ladder up here and have it go all the way up even up to here sorry if it's kinda dark so we're on the top floor so we go down and we're on the third floor now uh, for our attic entrances get your doors take two blocks out of there two blocks out of there just throw your doors down like that and you can get into your attic and uh, to get more space you can take out some of these blocks that aren't stairs so yeah you can do that that gets you a lot more space uh, you can place some torches actually you have more room you can do this And you can take out all these blocks. Just any block that isn't a stair you can take out to get more room. And you can put chests under stairs. So yeah, this is ideal for that. This is ideal for a storage room. So yeah, here's our lighting. Got this big attic area. I mean, you could even have this as a bedroom. Then you got this smaller one over here. Let me clear this out. in there so you can see what I'm doing. Crap, I deleted the stair. Don't do that. I can place this from the inside, I think. Just like that. And we can even get rid of these ones. And, uh, yeah. Get more light. So those are the two attic entrances. And then you go up here and you got your little lookout tower thing. And, uh, yeah, keep it illuminated because it's a big lookout tower, so I'd have a lot of lights in here. And uh, you could even have a ladder going up through the roof, but uh, I'm not going to bother with that. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it on how you do the interior. And 
and uh you got this room put a door here what I like to do for a room over here is I uh oh it's too dark hold on so let me throw some more torches down around here I just deleted that didn't I okay whoops I don't want a torch there so yeah, I like to go to here where this log is and just make a wall to make another room over here. And uh, I usually have some like uh, crafting benches and furnitures and a little work area here, so I have my door over this way. And that leads me, this is the room I like to use, this is my bedroom. And it gives you this little porch here. Put some torches on it. Don't want mobs to spawn. And um, yeah, that's pretty much how you make it. I am set day. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this house, and uh, make sure you check out the link from where I got it from to see the original creation. And uh, yeah, I'd like to see you guys do your own variations of it and change things up too, because there's a lot you can do with this house. So thanks for watching, and I hope you plan on building this house. And if you think it's cool, then leave a like. It helps me out a lot. See ya.